are you having difficulty seeing me? Oh, that's because it's night time and I've turned the lights out. I've been doing some stargazing. Ah, but hang on. There, that's better. The sky is a funny old thing at night. All the stars look exactly the same. But there is one recognisable thing, and that's the moon. It's shaped sort of like, well, like a crescent. Aha, exactly like this, a crescent shape. Ah, the only trouble is, is the moon is out tonight, and it's not shaped like a crescent. It's sort of shaped like a half circle. And you know, I've seen the moon when it's been a full circle. So what's going on there? Why does the moon change shape, hmm? Sometimes the, the sky gets darker and darker and darker. Because the world turns around. Because when it gets darker and darker and darker, the moon changes its shape. Because it's morning and the sun comes up. Because the earth is turning around. The sun cuts it down. So you know if it's, it's midnight. Hey, some good ideas there. But what do we mean by the moon changing shape? Because this moon here isn't changing at all, is it? What if we were to watch it for a long time? Like a month? Hmm. Let's see. Here's the moon at the beginning of the month. Big and full and round. But watch what's happening. It's starting to get smaller. After a week, half of it is gone. And it's getting smaller still. Now it's a crescent. Well, now it's just a sliver. And now... Hey, where did it go? It's disappeared. Oh, no, hang on, here it is again. A little sliver getting bigger. Oh, now it's a crescent again. And after three weeks, it's back to being half a moon. It's getting bigger still. Filling up until at the end of the month, it's a big, round, full moon again. Hmm, but how does that happen? You know, someone once told me that the moon is made of green cheese. So maybe something or someone is nibbling away at that cheese. But then how does the cheese grow back again? And who would want to eat green cheese? Blah. Oh, yuck, look at that. Ugh. Maybe there's another way of looking at it. Cat. Sorry? Start recording. What happened? Oh. Oh, I see. I looked away from the light. That light there? So it wasn't lighting me properly. OK, what if I turn in this direction? Is that better? OK. Scene three, take four. Action. You know, that's got me thinking. When I had turned away from the light like this, you couldn't see any of my face, right? And when I'm back like this, you can see half of my face. And when I've turned to the light completely, you can see all of my face. So maybe that's the same with the moon. Maybe the moon stays the same shape, it's just how much that you can see of it that changes. Let's investigate. Well, this ball is the sun. It's putting out light and a temperature of around 5,000 degrees Celsius. Ooh, ooh, it's hot. Oh, let's put the sun out here in space. Like so. And these two balls here can be the Earth and the Moon. Now the moon is closer to the sun, so it can sit here, and the earth can sit here. Now, the moon circles the earth. It's called an orbit. And the moon takes a whole month to orbit the earth. Watch what happens as it goes round the earth. Sometimes the moon is in between the earth and the sun, and sometimes the Earth is in between the Moon and the Sun. Sometimes the Moon is to one side, and sometimes the Moon is to the other. And there are lots of different positions in between. And there's something else we know about the Moon, and we found it out from people who have been to the Moon and walked on it. See? Well, what they found out is the Moon is not made of green cheese. Oh, no. The Moon is made of good old rocks and good old rocks don't give off light. Otherwise, we'd use them instead of candles. The only way you get to see rocks is if you shine a torch on them 
or if the light of the sun is shining on them. So when we're looking up at the moon, what we're seeing is the moon lit up by the sun. I'm about to conduct an experiment deep in dark space. Ow! Okay, maybe we need a little bit of light. Yeah, that's better, because that light there is going to be the sun. That lights the sun and you can be the earth, okay? Great. Now all we need is a moon. A moon. Ah, I know just the thing. <coughs> One heavy moon. Okay, it's just a ball painted grey, but it looks like the moon, doesn't it? Okay. Here is the moon. You are the earth and you're in between the moon and the sun there. So you can see all of the moon. It's a full moon. But as the moon orbits the Earth, you start seeing less of it. You might see about three quarters of it. Then maybe half the moon. As it orbits, you see less. You might see a quarter of the moon. And then you'll see none of the moon. And that's because this side of the moon is the part that's getting the sunlight falling on it. This side is in shadow. Ah, but the moon continues its orbit. It goes round and you begin to see it again. You see maybe a quarter of the moon, then half the moon, three quarters of the moon, until you end up with a full moon again, a full circle. Now think about it because the ball didn't change shape at all. It stayed the same the whole way round. It's just how much you could see of it that changed. Oh, I tell you what, carrying this huge moon around is very hard work. I need a rest. Ah, yes, the moon. The real moon doesn't really change its shape at all either. It's just that sometimes we can see all of the sunny side of the moon, and sometimes we can only see a bit of the sunny side of the moon, and sometimes we can only see the dark side of the moon. But it's still there. You can check that it's the sunny side of the moon we see if you can see both the sun and the moon during the day. Have a look at which side of the moon is lit up. It'll always be the side that's facing the sun. So, the side of the moon that you can see is the side that's facing the sun. Aha! And when the sun goes down on the part of the Earth that we're on, we can still see which direction it's in by looking at the moon. See? It's this side of the moon that's lit. So, the sun must be over the horizon in that direction. So, the moon doesn't change shape at all. All that changes is the amount of moon that you can see. Hey, why don't you make a chart of all the different ways that the moon looks? Draw a picture of the moon every three nights and very soon you'll have a chart of all the stages of the moon. Maybe you've got some questions that you'd like answered. You can write to us at Susie's World, P.O. Box 34307, Birkenhead, Auckland. Or head to the website www.susie.co.nz. Well, I think I've seen enough of the moon. I'm off to bed before I see the sun come up. Oh, excuse me. Ka kite. <laughs> oh. oh, I read somewhere that the cheese is made of moon. Let's <laughs> eat that. Don't eat that cheese, it'll be awful. And who would really want to eat green cheese? Is the cheese going to come now? You could have the cheese now. See? Cheese? Oh, yes! There's green cheese there. Too late. This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.